We are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Today, I am going to, I worked out, woke up, work out. You'll see some of that in the video. Also, taking care of my skin. I don't know why, but around this area, I seem to be, you can hear what I'm watching. <laughs> I seem to be breaking out. It's just annoying. It's just like right here. And so I'm trying to, this mask so far has done wonders, like it really dried up the breakout, so I'm going to do it again. And then I will be going to the movies again. I think I did that last week as well. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens after that. I will keep you posted. Oh yes, I believe in this video also I will be dyeing my hair another color finally because this color I'm sick of. I'm sick of this orange burnt color. I'm over it. Um, I just wanted to come on here. My hair is super dry in the back. Ooh, I didn't even realize how bad it looks. Good thing no one can see the back of my head. Um, for my Zoom meetings, you can only see the front, so that's fine, because I just did the front of my hair. These are roller curls. What do you guys think? I really, really like roller curls i've been doing it like three days in a row now and i'm obsessed the only thing is you have to take time to actually roll your hair and then leave the rollers in as you can see the back of my head <laughs> it looks like i just blow dried it and i didn't do anything and then the front this has a curl ish it's like kind of straight ish because i only curled the this part of my hair yeah working from home um i'm trying to figure out what i can do without actually working a nine to five because i'm quite sick of it to be honest with you and i feel like my time is not mine which when you work a nine to five your time is not yours and you pretty much have to you belong to a company so hit me up in the comments if you have anything in mind but yeah this is my work from home look makeup i feel like my makeup these days goes by so quickly and so fast um there's really no rhyme or reason it's more about like just making my skin look great that is my goal these days with makeup i just want my skin to look flawless i am breaking out like you can kind of see this area actually it's healing so it's mostly dark spots but that is my goal these days is to just make my skin look as flawless as i possibly can things i get do differently with my makeup that i didn't do a year ago or one i'm not precise anymore i don't care i'm not a makeup artist i do not like doing other people's makeup even though i do sometimes and can i don't care to do it and i don't care for perfection so that is something i don't aim for i know before i would just aim for per perfect perfection i would aim for for you guys i can't say the word i would aim for perfection and if i didn't get it i would literally not go out the house I do not aim to be precise i do not i remember i used to be like if i cannot completely duplicate this um rihanna jackie Anna, or whatever beauty guru makeup look or instagram girl i was following at the moment or beauty i would not that look would not see the light of day i do not take others opinions to heart so yeah i don't take people's others um online or in real life mostly in real life um comments to heart at all two and three 
do go hand in hand. With that being said, I'm not taking comments about how I look out, look or how much makeup I put on or what would look better or critique, I also stop self-reflection here, you guys. I also stopped giving unsolicited opinions on others' makeup. Now this, this is a hard one to swallow. Yes, I consider myself a kind person and I consider myself to mind my, a person that minds her own business. Either I like it or I move on. And that is how I pursue that is how I see how I comment now. Oh, I would love it, but it's, you know, it's more of a fall look. It's not like a summer look. Does not matter for whatever reason they felt to do this type of look and it felt good for them and it looks good on them. Either I say, I like it, love it, or move on. So I leave my, I try to leave my, um, judgmental thoughts at the door no they didn't ask for it you're not going to give it because if you can't project positivity or compliment a person genuinely compliment a person then keep your mouth shut and move on so i apply that to myself that is number three something i may have done and i didn't even notice i was doing it until like i would see something like Oof, that makeup's kind of dark or that makeup's all over the place or her eyeliner like i can do eyeliner it's all over in my head like running just running wild no, don't need to be there shut your mouth move on kick the negative thoughts out something i did before and now this is going back into like the makeup techniques um that i used to practice heavy foundation i no longer participate in heavy foundation it's not part of my life anymore i realized that it no longer works for my skin, I don't know if it ever did, but it no longer works for my skin in my life, daily life. It is okay, my sister is getting out the shower so I need to hurry up. Last, but certainly not least, I think this is number five, if I know how to count. And I will show you guys the look um, I get to. I'll definitely put a video on here for you guys because I can see that time is not on me. Time is not on my side. With everything I've said about my, wanting my skin to look its greatest or be in its best state and really just appreciating where I am in the stage of my life. With all that said, glowing, youthful, and you know, just beautiful skin. Number five, probably the most important one is that I am, <laughs> I am okay with my skin looking like skin. Having pores, having dark spots, like I said, acne, um, blemishes, hyperpigmentation, whatever the case may be for you, but for me, those are all the cases I go through. Dry skin, oily skin, whatever the case may be, I'm okay with my skin looking like skin because at the end of the day, I'm taking care of my skin. As I'm looking at you through this screen, I'm okay with my skin looking like skin when I have makeup on something I had an issue with a year ago that I definitely do not have now. So this is the look I went with you guys. I have to go right now, but obviously I don't have time to put a wig on. So this is just the hair that I'm going with. And I'm in this cute little yellow outfit. That's why I wanted to do yellow eyeshadow, even though it looks different than in the mirror, but it is the same color in yellow. Say hi. I don't want to be on them. Why not? <laughs> Another meal. Hey guys. So I decided to do a little vlogging today. It's Monday. This is what I wear pretty much 
every day of my life. Mwah. Every single day. Um, yeah, I like today. Today is a holiday for me, so I'm just home. Went out to brunch with my sister this morning. That was fun. Um, had another job interview. That was not so fun. But yeah, I am debating on what color I want to go. If I want to go with my root color, which is black, or if I want to just bite the bullet and go pink. But as you can see, my hair is already pretty damaged. All of the part that's colored is really damaged. But I'm like, mm, it's just hair, I'll grow back. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. But yeah, I'm just going to have a margarita and chill. It's like 3 p.m. So I want to watch a scary movie, but I'm not sure if I want to watch it alone. We'll see. But yeah, I will um, vlog again once I'm actually doing something. <laughs>